people who are going to help us do just that. I have been joined by Papa Kofi Ankoma, who's the general manager of Access Pension Trust, and of course, Mimi Anania Pia, who also is a financial planner of Access Pension Trust. So if you have any questions for them throughout the conversation, let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550 If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus 233. Mimi, I'll start with you. Can you help us understand the importance of even being intentional about your personal finances and budgeting for it? Okay. Um, so, personal... Well, first, good morning. Okay, good morning. Um, personal finance is very important. Um, for most of us, we have goals and aspirations. Mm -hmm. And we know money is very important when it comes to being able to achieve those goals. And budgeting becomes important because it helps you to determine where your money goes in order to achieve those goals. Okay. So it's budgeting like what, unlike what we've been thinking it is, mm -hmm. which is some kind of restrictive list. It's rather an enabler to help you achieve the, the goals by telling yourself where your money goes instead of um, fig wondering where your money went. Okay. Yeah. Pavakofi, what exactly is budgeting? Um, thank you very much, and thank you for having us here. Um, I think my colleague already touched on a bit on what budgeting is actually. Uh, but budgeting is simply deciding where your money should go. Okay. So instead of leaving your money to decide where it wants to go and trying to think, figure it out, like, hey, where did my money go all this while? You simply put together a plan okay. to determine how you want your money to be spent. Okay. So you don't wake up on a daily basis and decide to eat because you feel like eating. Mm -hmm. But now you know that based on what I earn or based on my income, this is what I need to do, A, B, C, to achieve certain goals in life. Okay. You can't live in this life without goals. Okay. Yeah. But Mimi, where do we start from? So you say budgeting and someone is at home sleeping on their couch. They can't even get off the couch. Where do they even start <laughs> with the budgeting? Um, for me, everything personal finance starts with establishing your goals. Okay. And the reason why most of us are not able to keep to whatever we decide to do at the beginning of the year, there's no reason for doing it. So um, somewhere in the middle, we just give up. So it's not good enough to just throw it out in the air yes. and hope that you will yes. do it? Yes. You should have some short-term goals. You should have some medium-term goals and some long-term goals. What exactly do you want to achieve with your life? the life that you've been given. What do you want to achieve this year? What is it that you want to do? Um, in the next five years, what would you want to achieve? In the next 10 years, what would you want to achieve? Once you have those goals set, then you can look at everything. Everything fits into that plan. So you're not just doing things, but everything you get in terms of resources, you are directing it to achieve those goals. Okay. So... As far as the planning is concerned, where do I start from, Pakofi? So let's say I make 2,000 cities a month and I want to save 20%. Where do I start from with the budgeting? I mean, the first question is why do you want to save 20%? Because I want to buy a car. Great. <laughs> so now you have a goal. Okay, so you need to have <laughs> you need to a have destination. A exactly. Yes. Okay. You can't just travel from Accra to Kumase and say, I'm going to Kumase, not knowing you have to go through in Sawam uh, and to whom. And possibly there are pit stops, there are traffic lights, there are things that are going to impede. There's possibly no fuel in your car. Okay. And you decide that, hey, I just want to go to Kumasi. You don't even have a car. You don't have money to even board a bus. Mm -hmm. These are all things you need to plan. So now you need to know, okay, what is my ultimate goal? Okay. The next thing is, where do I stand? Okay. That is the beginning so of So you are working backward. Exactly. This is what I want to achieve. Exactly. But let me start from here. And how will that now drive you to stick to it as the days go by? Great. So, I mean, there are a number of options you can use. Okay. I normally recommend the notebook and pen option. Okay. Where now you know where you stand in terms mm -hmm. of income. So now you can plan how much you want to spend on a monthly basis okay. or on an average basis. I normally recommend that each each expense, each item you, t you tend to think about, you put it down, you note it down. Try as much as possible. It's difficult. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes you probably spend something out there and forget to, to note it in your notebook. Mm -hmm. It is very important to note it. Okay. There are a lot of mobile apps now, mm -hmm. that budgeting apps that help people to plan. 
but ultimately you need to plan. Okay. Now, in planning also, you just don't limit yourself to say, Kumasi, there are rest stops in, on the way to Kumasi. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you have your ultimate goal, so you need to have an emergency fund as you drive on your way to Kumasi. Mm -hmm. What if you're, you experience a flat tire okay. and all you have is just five CDs? What if there's an engine failure? Mm -hmm. All these things need to be considered as you journey. It is the same in life. This year you want to get married. Mm -hmm. What are your plans? Mm -hmm. What if the expect, um, what you expect to come from family members do not come? How do you tend to make up for that shortfall? Okay. If you're looking to retire in the next 30 years, mm -hmm. you need to plan. What if your spouse passes before the next 30 years? What, all these what ifs are what you consider as part of your plan. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, 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 you have, it's broken down into what we call the long-term plan. You have what we call the uh, emergency funds okay. or the rainy day funds. And you have insurance also as part of it. Okay, yeah. so if I were to plan my budget this year, I start off by saying, okay, this is what I want to ultimately achieve in the long term. That's the first point. Yeah. Great. Then I have to make a, a, a small space for cases of emergencies. Mm -hmm. Would I now dip into that fund for the long term or do I have to create a separate fund for the emergency cases? Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me, I believe in having separate funds for separate things. Okay. Um, the reason being that you don't want to start something for your retirement and then your tire gets um, flat and you are coming for, for that. It really distracts um, you from achieving your goal. Okay. So you should have some kind of rainy day fund. Okay. Uh, it could be a thousand Ghana CDs, it could be five thousand, depends on your expenditure or your income. Okay, so There's, what percentage of your let's say monthly salary should you put to that? I, it's it's something that you can determine. Okay. That's a rainy day fund. Then then we have an em emergency fund. Okay. An emergency fund is basically three to six months of your um salary. Okay. So that is um just to Take care of you should, I Anything mean, God happen. forbid, city mm -hmm. say they don't want you anymore. Mm -hmm. At least for the next three to six months, I'll you are fine. sorted till you get nice. something else. Then you can have a fund for your retirement plan. Retirement is very important. We are all preparing for long life. Mm -hmm. But the question we should ask ourselves is when we get there, What's how are we going happen? to survive? How are we going to be comfortable? Mm -hmm. So once you have health and um, long life, retirement is going to come. You need to plan for it. Then there are other goals, like getting married, maybe your children's school fees. That's if you want to have any kids or housing. All of these things you can plan for. Okay. Personally, I think you should have some separate account okay. for, for these things so that, I mean, you, you don't, don't mix them up. Mix them up, exactly. But then there, there are certain schools of thoughts that say the 50-30-20 rule. 50-30-20. <laughs> Okay, what is that? So 50 to take care of your fixed expenses, 30% okay. of your salary to take care of your variable expenses. What are some e examples of your fixed expenses? I mean, generally, if you live in somebody's house, you rent an apartment, you okay. are supposed to pay rent. rent. Okay. I mean, if you have a car, you need to pay insurance. Uh -huh. um, so Even your if it's rent, third party, your electricity yeah, school bill, fees, water bills, school all those fees, things, all, things, all the you things you have to pay, pay every month. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, when it comes to variables, okay. this month you can decide to buy clothes. Next month you might not want to buy clothes. Okay. And depending on where you want to buy the clothes or what type of hair you want to do, you look at all that. Okay. I mean, twenty percent of your salary naturally should go into savings. People always complain, but the salary is never enough. Okay. The truth is, the salary is never going to be enough. So you ask yourself, at what point can I? save the richest person in living currently would still want to <laughs> make more money, <laughs> make more money. Exactly. so you, you can't just say that because i'm earning 500 cities i'm earning 300 cities i don't want to save but where do you squeeze that 20 percent from so let's say you are in a job like both of you look very beautiful today thank you you have to invest money in that so you can't tell mimi squeeze some money out and wear the same outfit you had yesterday. So where do you get that 20% from? You fit your coat according to your pocket. Okay. <laughs> How do you do that? Practically. So um, let me be very practical. Okay. Um, I've come to believe that there are ways and means. I mean, you need Wherever to be... Wherever there's a will, there's yes, a Yes, you need to be smart. Okay. 
you need to know um you need to know i mean the different ways you can get to sort yourself out mm -hmm. so for example maybe coming to italy going to buy clothing is not the best option for you mm. you can go to ben down boutique mm -hmm. if that Makala is what you Akra, can afford not far from here. take some time look for the good clothes best. wash it well iron it nobody knows yeah so you don't impress anybody. And I think it's easier when you know where you are driving at. Okay. Then if you don't know where you are going, then of course, any little pressure will get you distracted. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I, I just want to chip in. I remember some years back when um, I was just about starting work. And I used to say, oh, at the time, 1,000 CDs was quite good. It's like, mm -hmm. if I end 1,000 CDs, I'll be very well. It's still good, <laughs> depending on where you're sitting. <laughs> <laughs> but well, continue. It is good, actually. Then this... Um, senior colleague mm -hmm. was like, are you sure 1,000 CDs is good? Because you end up buying shirts. I was like, oh, no, I don't need all those expensive shirts I can buy. It's like, as your salary increases, you your taste will change. Ah. And that is true. Okay. So if you are earning 500 CDs, mm -hmm. as I said, spend within the 500 CDs. If you're earning 1,000 CDs, mm -hmm. don't spend like you're earning 10,000 CDs. Okay. Let those who earn that spend like they spend mm -hmm. you don't have to impress anybody okay you look at yourself and work within your means okay Mimi how do you stay on track so let's say you've planned what you're going to do throughout the year and should you give yourself should you celebrate small wins before you reach your ultimate goal yeah it's it's very important to celebrate small wins sometimes it's tough mm -hmm. it's tough to stick to those goals so maybe you do well you buy yourself something small to celebrate um, but if you're the type that has, I mean, you're an impulsive buyer, you're an impulse buyer, and you have issues, it's also good to have an accountability ah, uh, partner. Nice. So if you're even a married couple mm -hmm. and your wife is better at finances than you are or the other way, mm -hmm. it's better to let that person handle the finance, maybe give you a portion you can blow once you know it's done. It's done, but at least you know that all the important things have been sorted out. So it's important to have an accountability partner. And maybe sit down with a financial planner like myself, of course. Where do uh, we find you? <laughs> <laughs> I just mentioned Cicely Gone. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, to draw some kind of budget. Sometimes the budgets are too tight. Like mm -hmm. you, you have 50 CDs for in, um, entertainment, mm -hmm. and maybe you are dating. Mm -hmm. You know that there isn't much you can do. So <laughs> as much as possible, let it be flexible. Okay. I mean, leave room for, you know, flexibility. So that it's not something that is difficult to, to, to follow. Achieve. Yes, or difficult to achieve. But I also advise that when it comes to savings, mm -hmm. you have your budget. So you definitely know your disposable income, yeah. meaning your income minus your expenses. Mm -hmm. When it comes to saving, as soon as your salary lands in your account, make sure you have an automated payment instruction. Let it go. Nice. Okay. Let it go. Okay. Then whatever is left, we, we, we um, spend that on okay. whatever it is. Okay. But that makes, that ensures that you are not tempted, to especially spend. if you don't yeah. have, if you are not disciplined or you don't have the self-control. Make sure you get yourself a direct debit. Every if you are paid twenty first, every twenty second, do that and then let it disappear. Money. Let it be off my shoulder. I know that I have money somewhere mm -hmm. that I'm going to use to achieve my goals. While I use the rest to, you know, feed myself, get um, clothing, and all the other things that, you know, you need to do to take care of yourself. And let's let's not be fake. I mean, you need to eat. Mm -hmm. So don't say that because you have to achieve your goals, you are going to fast. <laughs> you die and the money will be left. Okay. So, I mean, your basic needs have to be met. Okay. We have discretionary um, items that are easy to take, care of, take out of your list, like entertainment and all that. So most of the time, when you find yourself tied up, you can attack those ones first before looking at your basic needs. Okay. okay. Uh, um, Thank you very much, Mimi. Let, let me just add that. <clears throat> A lot of times we've seen budgeting as... Um, People who draw budgets as people who are in need. It might not be necessarily because you are in need, but you want to get the best out of your finances. So, for instance, on a Friday night, I know, I mean, we the young ones, we go out there, you probably end up drinking so much, eating so much that you don't need. <laughs> your system will reject it immediately, you get home. Why do you stress yourself going through all that? 
you can cut that into half possibly find something to do with the extra money all those bottles we buy in the clubs uh, you go out with the, your girlfriends it might not be necessary you can limit yourself why don't i go out once in maybe a month mm -hmm. uh, do what you think you are comfortable doing that's fine it's a, it's a it's your support system nobody should close down your support system because okay. when things go bad possibly that's where you get your motivation, motivation. from okay. so no it, it's not to restrict you mm -hmm. but it's to help you now assess your life and see where are the excesses mm -hmm. now what can i do with those excesses where can i locate those excesses to to get the best out of my ultimate goal thank you very much Great. where do we follow you on social media okay so we have a handle access pension trust okay. uh, we are on social media on twitter okay. instagram and um all the social media handles. on the social media thank handles, you actually. very much Great. mimi anani appear and papa kofi and koma for joining us and i hope you guys have learned something about budgeting and managing your personal finance okay you have to start with a goal if you don't have a goal you just keep doing things freestyling and not achieving anything and 50 30 20 so your 50 is for your fixed your 30 is for your variables and the 20 is for the savings i think i hope i got that right perfect, perfect. perfect. we hope you've enjoyed the show make sure you subscribe like comment and share with your friends this is breakfast daily on city tv join the breakfast daily team monday through fridays from 7 30 a.m to 10 join us for breakfast daily only on city tv